Hello, welcome Michael B. Jordan. How are you doing? <laughs> Arnold Chiku, but yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't you think he looks like Michael B. Jordan? I do not. I've been getting it. Literally, this is a weird week because this is the first time in my life I've ever gotten it was this week on Monday. And it's been Monday, literally every couple of days, every, like once every couple of days, someone's been saying, oh, you look like Michael B. Jordan to me. And I don't, I do not. I'm really shocked that you didn't get that before. I think he just really blew up after Black Panther. So. Is it because of perhaps a little old? Did you grow this in the last two weeks? I think it's just same skin tone. I smile a lot. That's it, ah, really. Ah, the smile, the smile. Well, your name's Arnold. Yeah, it's Arnold. And Arnold, your film, Disconnect. Tell us a little bit more about it. Um, Disconnect is basically the story of, like, it's a breakup between a young couple, but it's a breakup that's happening in this world where people only talk to each other through their smartphones, which is sort of like the world we're becoming. It's like he. How rubbish is that? That's kind of rubbish. I know people are getting distracted, and it's like sort of the disconnect where we're not actually talking about things or to each other properly, but we are Yay. still emulating conversation. But it's not real conversation. But yeah, I, I don't know. So, so that's sort of what the short film's about. Yeah. And uh, what inspired you to do it? Is it from a personal experience, perhaps? Um, it was from me just trying to find creative ways to tell breakup stories. Oh, really? <laughs> she was just like, uh, it started off as a two-hander where I was just thinking about a scene of a young couple breaking up and it's like, how can I make this more interesting? Oh, no, they're only talking to each other on their phones. And I just sort of created this world where it's like, oh, no, everyone's only talking to each other on their phone. And then you set out and you see that she's been followed and then it became playing in social media into it and sort of having like, did this couple break up online or something? It's like maybe, so those kind of aspects. So that's all how it came about. And this is your first film that you've made, really, isn't it? Yeah, I sent, um, I wrote a short screenplay, not this time, like probably late last year, sent it to Random Acts, which is like Channel 4 short film screen. And they funded me to make, to direct it and write it. So yeah. Well done. Thanks. That's fabulous stuff. Yeah. Is there anything else that we can look forward to other than that? I mean, I'm currently, I've just finished writing a short film that I'm looking to try and make sometime soon. I'm right. I'm, What's that about? Uh, that, can you say? That I can say. Why not? I'm not like Disney. No one's like being like, oh, you can't talk. I'm not like with Disney or anything, but I can. It's gonna, probably going to be, um, it's going to be, a, I'm planning on it to be a musical. It's going to be based on a corner, a day in the life of a corner shop, a musical where like everyone sort of like, customers come in and they sing their songs about what they want through the, throughout the day and it's sort of getting on the nerves of the shopkeeper but the shopkeeper just takes it as it is and sort of like yeah is the shopkeeper singing it too no he's not he's very much not a singer so it's almost like being like every day people come in and they're doing their things but like he still has to be here and service them and it's very like uh, yeah so. that sounds like fun okay yeah so that's what i'm trying to do <laughs> the annoyed shopkeeper of everyone walking in singing yeah yeah get out of my shop yeah so that's what um what i'm writing at the moment but nice stuff that was that'll be what i'd want to direct next in terms of short film but yeah, I'm writing pilots as well, just TV stuff. I would, I would love to do make one day. So for people that really um, have their first film made and they've entered it and it's being screened, I always ask, what is that feeling like when you see people watching your film and responding to it? <laughs> it's strange, especially since I wrote it like over six months, like seven months ago. And it's been quite quick as well, because I mean, we shot it in January, but it's also quite a long time. I mean, a lot can happen in life and just you can forget sometimes that it is a film and that people can enjoy it. And uh, I forgot that I had a lot of jokes in it. Like, I forgot that there were funny bits in the film and then hearing people laugh and all these. Oh, yeah, there are, like, jokes in this. I did write this to be sort of a pseudo, like, comedy drama sort of thing. So, like, yeah. We, we thoroughly enjoyed it. It was fantastic. I'm actually going to watch it again. It's really good, yeah. Online in two weeks, I think, on, oh, nice one. on the Channel 4 web, Random Max website. So. Oh, well done again. Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic stuff. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Michael B. Jordan. You take care, okay? <laughs> Bye Arnold. <laughs>